Okay, um, I am now going to break the mold on the selenium. Um, this has cooled down, although it never got terribly hot. I'm going to do this pretty gently because, again, selenium is a not a metal. It's not very malleable. It looks it's more crystalline or glass-like, and I don't want to break it. This is looking pretty good. My goodness. It's the number seven backwards right here, but wow. This came out extraordinarily well. Completely solid. And again, I just heated this over with that propane torch. Um, I'm hoping, notice the top has this very glass-like finish. I don't know if I'll be able to finish the surface to make it look like that. I could try to heat it quickly, but that might just burn it. I, I don't want to risk it. My bigger concern is on the other, on the metal ones, I've been just taking a hacksaw to uh, cut off the sprues. That might, might be a little rough for this because, again, this is, no, this, this is just going to break, uh, like, brittle, it's kind of like candy, like a, a fine candy. Um, so I don't want to take a hacksaw to it. I'm going to take a Dremel power tool, I think, first, and just try to carefully cut that. Um, and I don't know how easily I'll be able to sand it if I have to, although it doesn't look like I have to. This filled in perfectly. Well, not perfectly, not few are perfect, but um, quite solid. The S and E in the element symbol are quite visible. This still has the plaster inside of it, but that will be cleared out. This is very encouraging. So, okay, I will take one more video once I have finished it, and it will be included. This was the final piece for my second set. Again, I've been waiting for a week for this thing from the post office, so I'm hoping that this completes that set.